Let's go. The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Why, good morning or good afternoon, depending upon where you are. Welcome to Navient Solution Spotlight for this April 18th. At this point in time, we are going to talk all about ShareBase for government. Um, a couple quick housekeeping components since we are on a go-to webinar. We will be recording this webinar. Um, so in case uh, everybody that's attending will actually get a uh, link to this recording. Um, since we're recording, to just to get a nice pristine audio, everybody is muted at this point in time. So if you wish to communicate with us, please use the questions or the chat panel that appears within the GoToWebinar on the right side of the screen. And just a reminder, at the end of this webinar, uh, we have a quick survey asking for your feedback for what you would like to see in the future and how well that we did. We do take all of that seriously, so if you have any suggestions for future topics, please let us know. My name is Guy Schrader. I am the Manager of Sales Engineering here with Navient, and our presenter today is Paulina Carnes. She is a sales consultant with OnBase, um, specifically within the ShareBase category. So with that, I am gonna turn this on over to Paulina and allow her to present. Thank you, Paulina. Thank you, Guy. Throughout today's webinar, we will explore ShareBase, what it is and how you can gain value from it and what does it actually look like from the software demo perspective. And so the ability to easily share large and sensitive files or maybe batches of files with your constituents or outside vendors and agencies has always been difficult until now. And today, content management and content creation have come together to provide users with tools to easily collaborate and store the content. But why all these tools work well for individual or small groups, what do they look like for, on the, in the corporate landscape? There are many competitive products out there for sharing and collaborating on content, but they may not leverage your current investment. And I'm talking specifically to your on-base investment. ShareBase provides the best of both worlds. It will leverage your current on-base investment by enhancing your automated processes with secure external sharing. And at the same time, it provides your organization with internal collaboration and controlled remote access to content. AIM Research shows that 58% of organizations would prefer a collaboration tool that was either an extension or an integration with their current ECM platform, which of course is fantastic because ShareBase is organic to Highland and we have created the product for the enterprise use with our OnBase customers in mind. And before we start with how OnBase and ShareBase works together, I'd like you to think about how you and your employees are sharing content uh, right now. Are you using any of the uncontrolled methods? Perhaps you're sending emails which we know are not secure, or maybe you are sharing external hard drives and hoping not to lose them, or maybe you allow your employees to use their personal sharing tools you know, like Google Drive or Dropbox that's really meant for sharing family pictures rather than sensitive constituent information. And what about the hard to manage tools? Secure FTP sites, the encrypted emails and portals are definitely more secure, but they also require additional assistance from your maybe already overburdened IT team. And what about the internal information that you need to share outside of your organization? And yes, I'm talking about even your on-base content. How are you securely sharing your on-base content? And let me ask you just one more question. Is there a better way to do this? And I absolutely believe so that ShareBase is the better way to do this. ShareBase is your cloud-based sharing tool designed specifically for the corporate enterprise use. It allows your employees to share information while all along ensuring that you as the organization retain control and visibility over what's being shared. And that information can be shared both inside and outside of your organization in the same secure manner. Most importantly, you can share your on-base content. ShareBase includes the strong security and controls that you've come to know with OnBase that is available from your desktop, a web browser, 
or even a mobile device. And with Sharebase, you gain visibility into content sharing across and outside of your organization because the Sharebase accounts are created at the corporate level by your Sharebase administrator instead of your individuals who are creating their own personal sharing accounts. Again, thinking about Dropbox or Google Drive. All of the activity is also tracked at the document level Level, including who is accessing the information or maybe what changes are being made. You also retain control of the business information being shared, including setting sharing periods or recommended expirations, as well as watermark feature that really tries to prevent or prohibit uh, people from maliciously interacting with your documents when you just wanted them to be view only documents. And I'm here thinking about screenshots or taking photos with your mobile device. And then also as users change roles or leave the organization, your administrator can easily transfer the sharing rights from one user to another, but also revoke rights to make sure that only appropriate users have access and sharing rights for your business content. And finally, Sharebase allows you to empower your users because sharing and determining rights of viewers is simple for these users. While sharing, uh, the users can determine who has what rights to download or upload, maybe edit or even view both from the folder level down to the document level. And even more, they have the ability to set the expiration dates, ensuring that these external parties will not have access to the critical information any longer than they actually should. And so also, Sharebase is accessible via the web and mobile apps, making sure that your users can securely share content from anywhere at any time. And as I mentioned, Sharebase allows you to empower your users across the entire organization. It can be used in every department to help streamline the sharing and collaboration of your content. But before we move into how OnBase and Sharebase work together, let me talk just a little bit about the security of Sharebase as well. With Sharebase, your organization's data is going to be hosted not in a public, shared cloud, but in the Highland cloud. This is a privately managed multi-instance cloud for securely hosting and managing sensitive and critical corporate information. The Highland cloud offers regional data centers all over the world, ensuring that your data is backed up in separate data centers in case of a disaster. And in addition, your Sharebase data is never commingled with other organizations' data, and each customer has their own deployment and their own database with their own encryption key. And all the Sharebase documents are also encrypted, both in transit or at rest. And if you are a security guru at your organization, please visit our sharebase.com website where we offer you a security brochure for download, or you may contact your Navient account management team. So, now, let's talk about Sharebase working together with OnBase. Why is that important? When the sharing tools your employees are using are completely separate from their core system, in this case, your OnBase system, this results in users manually copying documents out of OnBase and manually placing them into the other locations, or maybe manually copying them out of locations and back into OnBase. So as you can imagine, this can result in an explosion of unmanaged copies and versions and increase the likelihood of errors. Sharebase eliminates all of these issues by interacting with OnBase. And so how does that interaction with Sharebase work? Based on your business rules, OnBase workflow can trigger events which auto-create a folder in Sharebase and add your OnBase content to that folder. And they can also generate a Sharebase link and send a notification to a non-OnBase users to view, edit, or upload, depending on the rights you have granted them. The interaction with Sharebase reduces manual steps and replaces email as your primary method of sharing, providing a secure area in Sharebase to access your OnBase content. When documents are uploaded to Sharebase, OnBase can also automatically capture them, eliminating reliance on email or FTP sites and even USB drives when sharing documents outside of OnBase. 
folders and documents can be securely shared with people who do not have access to OnBase by using these ShareBase links, which can be password protected and as we've mentioned before, can also be set to expire. So as you can see here, there are currently four OnBase workflow actions available since OnBase 15 Service Pack 3, allowing you to dynamically customize the sharing process to fit your needs. And so what does that look like from the industry solutions and use cases? Consultation and collaboration with other agencies or external organizations is really part of life in government, right? Additionally, ShareBase provides other core functionality that benefits your government work, including transferring large files and creating one location for collection of these large files, maybe providing secure extra jurisdictional and extra agency file sharing, it can replace your file share silos for anybody in the field and your mobile workers. And of course, it can further automate processes. I have an example here about large file sharing from Horry County, who is home to Myrtle Beach, and it covers 1,200 square miles, as well as provides IT and GIS support to all of Horry County with over 2,500 users. The 2016 Hurricane Matthew inflicted severe damage to the shorelines, and Horry County spent a great deal of time and money renourishing the beach to continue to support its tourism economy. And so when Hurricane Irma hit, the county needed to quickly document any new beach erosion and they utilized drones to do the recordings of any beach loss as well as any damages and flooding in the local neighborhoods. And then they need to send off those files to the representatives in Washington, D.C. to make sure that they are aware that yes, Horry County has been affected and yes, the county does need assistance from FEMA. And so in the past, they had to take these recordings and edit them and post them on secure FTP sites to share with any of the external parties, but they also all needed their specific secure identification to log in. And so the management of the, the whole process was very time consuming, which also jeopardized their FEMA funding. With share ShareBase, the video was selected right from the memory card and dragged and dropped directly into ShareBase for upload, which Tim Oliver from Horry County tells us it took him a whole 45 seconds. And once that external link was created, he was then able to quickly distribute the same link to multiple parties and utilize a secure password feature to provide that authorization per each person accessing their information. What's more important, the county deployed ShareBase just a couple of days after Hurricane Irma hit, and they were able to quickly utilize the share capabilities to rapidly get the information out there for the people who needed it. And so as we think about large files, uh, they also come in play for the planning commission. ShareBase can store large layouts of properties and the buildings on the properties and provide quick internal as well as external access to both the commission members and external developers, all the while maintaining control over access and tracking the activity on all of those documents. So. I wanted to ask you, you know, is your planning commission or maybe other sector of your business made up of non-users or citizen volunteers who may not have access to the county or city networks or even to your on-base system, or maybe they're still utilizing paper, um, you could extend county access to extra jurisdictions with ShareBase. And from the on-base perspective, uh, ShareBase further automates the processes, for instance, in the county clerk of courts. So a number of different counties and organizations find value in the on-base interaction with ShareBase, not only to automate the sharing of on-base content of large files, such as the videos I just mentioned, but also ingesting content back into OnBase. And so working with the county clerk, of course, they utilize OnBase extensively for some of their electronic case files, but they still found themselves interacting with the judges via disconnected cloud storage solutions, such as box.com, where they're manually retrieving judgments or sentencing orders, then manually copying and uploading those files back into OnBase, and then manually indexing the documents. When the county did a review of 
of how many interactions with this third-party cloud application their staff had, it was a staggering uh, close to 500 actions in one day. So if we say that there are roughly 250 working days in a year, that's 125,000 interactions. And if we were to guess that maybe it takes two minutes uh, for each of those staff members to interact with that document and it's copying and uploading and indexing, that's around 4,200 hours in a year spent on just manually copying copying information into OnBase. The OnBase interaction with ShareBase completely automates this process. So where during the specific time in the process, a request is sent out to the judge for their documents, they can automatically, uh, ShareBase can automatically bring information back into OnBase based on predefined document types. So whether it's a judgment or a sentencing order, and also keywords. So for example, the judge's name. At that point, the document then can be put back into the workflow to to either review or it can be put directly into the case file. And when we consider remote access, in the government industry, there's a county government that leverages outside access through ShareBase to enable remote folks access to their core documents on the go. And so prior to ShareBase, the county used OnBase to manage uh, content and automate and streamline their processes already through OnBase for nearly a decade. Some county business required the staff to work outside of the actual courthouse and while still needing access to files and documents. And so unfortunately, this often required uh, these people to travel to the courthouse to retrieve and review information. And that access could only happen during the open hours of the courthouse. And so if the staff needed additional time with documents, they either had to copy the original files or um, really copy the, the additional files and use more time and cost associated with an already difficult process. So these court hearing preparations had to be done at the courthouse to ensure client confidentiality and also the file security. So with ShareBase, the county provides timely access to critical on-base documents from the outside of the courthouse. Staff, attorneys, and anyone else are no longer burdened by travel or paper files and even need to physically be in the courthouse. The county saves time and streamlines processes as the custodian of the record authorizes who will have access to the content and so the authorized users do not even have to contact the office directly for information. And of course we're all familiar with benefits of compliance management and, and uh, in my example I want to talk to specifically about how Highland utilizes ShareBase to ensure this compliance. We are dedicated to transparency at every level so we participate in an annual independent external audit of our financial statements. Physically shipping paper files or even back in the day the CDs was costly as well as time consuming. Electronic file transfer solutions were equally is time consuming uh, based on the volume of files that was required as well as the connection instability. And so all of these methods required individual files to be sent to individual auditors and if we had multiple auditors requesting the same file we were making multiple copies. So again thinking about just that explosion of unmanaged copies. Since we've implemented ShareBase for our Highland audits, it provides scalability when multiple personnel needs access to the same information, all the while excelling in the confidentiality, security, and the ease of use that ShareBase provides. So we easily incorporated the naming convention that we were using originally for the auditors, further providing instant recognition of the foldering structure to ensure that it continues to be easy to use by all parties involved. And so of course no webinar uh, is a great webinar without some software demo so I wanted to dive into the ShareBase solution demonstration uh, of OnBase and ShareBase interacting together and I have selected a public records request management solution but we will be picking it up uh, the presentation towards the end of this request and so the, the records request has already been submitted and routed through the process. We already selected uh, our documents that are re releasable versus non-releasable documents. Any redactions that may have been needed have been completed. And so, as I mentioned, we pick up at the end of the process 
because we're, we are ready to complete the request and deliver the documents to the requester. So as you can see right in uh, the top tab, we are going to hit that the record collection is complete and request uh, for delivery. And so in the next step, step it's to create the record summary where we will see the inventory of all documents delivered to the requester. As we approve this uh, summary we will then be taken to another action that we can click to send electronic records to the requester. This is what we'll be utilizing that ShareBase interaction with OnBase. In the next administrative view of the uh, OnBase application, you can see all the way on the bottom left that we have created a ShareBase location. We also have selected, again, which uh, documents will be releasable versus non-releasable, and off it goes. So I wanted to pause right here just to tell you what is actually happening behind the scenes just because you don't get to see that in the automated demo. And so OnBase requests ShareBase to create that upload folder where it then supplies the OnBase documents. OnBase workflow also creates a, the ShareBase link with appropriate rights and whether there's passwords or expirations needed, uh, it is all done through the work flow and then it adds that on base link to a custom workflow notification that is sent off to the original requester and we can see uh, that notification right here with the share base link which we also chose to show you what does it look like if it was password protected. So when the user clicks on the link, they could have a password pop-up that would send them a separate email with the password to securely log in. Once they access the folder, they are able to view all of the documents that have been released to them. As you can see, there's also redactions that have been completed on these documents. And we have provided them the capability to download these documents um, for a later reference. And so as the public uh, records request solution, once we finish that, what about maybe collaboration pieces and how does that work in ShareBase? So uh, there's a lot of different features to the ShareBase standalone product, but I wanted to concentrate strictly on the collaboration today. So you're more than welcome to contact us for additional information as well as the full demonstration of ShareBase to see all the extra features. And so for my example today, I utilized the summary judgment form, uh, a, a Word document device that I can preview right here inside of ShareBase through any web browser. And for this purpose, I utilize uh, the Chrome um, web browser. And so I can edit this document without having to download it, make changes and re-upload into ShareBase. Instead, I can hit the edit button, which will then open up this document in its native uh, format. In this case, it's the Microsoft Word. And as you can see, I have areas to fill out and update. And so as I go through and update this document to what I need it to be, when I exit and save this document, it will automatically then uh, update the document here in ShareBase and also it'll provide additional versions and so all of the changes that I have just made have created a new version that I have access to and I can either promote old versions to be current again as well as I could download old versions if I only need it for reference just to compare and contrast items. And we further enable that co collaboration through permanent comments on the document. So whether it's a comment to myself or whether it's a comment to another ShareBase user, um, these comments, as I mentioned, are permanent, but they also send out an email notification to the person that has been mentioned in case the action is urgent and the user is not currently in their system to access the documents. And all of that activity is also tracked in ShareBase. So I speak about that uneditable audit trail, as you can see on the right-hand panel, where you see the timestamp as well as the user and the interaction with what document or folder uh, that user has done. In recap, the ShareBase solution 
action can really be applied in any scenario where the organization's needs include automated sharing and retrieval of their on-base content, or maybe you want to further empower your users with the access on the go, or again, provide corporate control and visibility. And so if you liked what you saw today or would like to explore further any of the mentioned use cases, we are very happy to provide demonstrations to the rest of your organization. So you may contact your Naviant account management team or guy with the contact information uh, here on the screen. Thank you, and I'll turn the presentation over to Guy. Well, thank you very much, Paulina. That was uh, very informative. I hope that everybody uh, saw some great benefits with that. Um, please ask questions within the GoToWebinar uh, panel. There's a whole question section, so we've allocated a few minutes at the end here. Um, so while you're compiling your questions, just wanted to give you uh, a quick reminder, if you want to forward to the next slide, thank you, Polina, of uh, some upcoming uh, seminars that Navient actually has. We have actually a, uh, a lunch and learn um, session coming up. There's a few different ones on the left-hand side. You can see that, that we're talking just generically about OnBase and enterprise content management. So considered a little bit of an on-base 101. It's a great presentation. Colleen Alber from Highland uh, actually comes out to um, on the 24th to Verona and on the 25th uh, to Waukesha to present that. Colleen's a very dynamic presenter. And actually in May, we have a couple uh, government digital transformation sessions, one here in Madison uh, for all of our Wisconsin. And, and frankly, if you wanted to travel to Madison and you're out of state, that's perfectly fine. But we'll also be up in Minneapolis uh, in the Bloomington area on May, May 9th with more of a focus specifically on government. So please um, look at uh, Navient.com and register for those sessions as, as uh, time approaches quickly. With that, I'm just checking to see if we have any questions as of yet. Paulina, do you want to uh, take over for a moment? Uh, yes, I don't see any questions that have come in, but you're welcome to continue typing them in. And in the meantime, we're going to share a poll on your screen where we give you a chance to connect with us. So if you'd like some more information about anything or any of the solutions that you saw today, please feel free to select that first radio button. Maybe you're ready for a demo. Uh, we are very happy to hear from you. So I leave this poll up for another 20 seconds and then um, we will proceed. And as we mentioned before, uh, feel free to reach out to myself, um, contact me if you'd like any further information. We will surely follow up from uh, any of these poll answers and any questions that you have. Um, please All right. listen. Yeah, go ahead, Polina. Thank you. All right. We'll, we'll close the poll for now. And as Guy has mentioned, here's his contact information if you would like to reach out to us again. And everybody will get a copy of uh, this recording. We will send that via, go figure, a ShareBase link, uh, I believe. I can't recall whether we do that or we post it up on YouTube. Nonetheless, if you registered, you will get a link to this uh, video. So feel free to share that with uh, other people within your organization as need be. With that, we will stay here for just a few more minutes. Thank you so much for taking the time this morning. For those people in the Madison area, by the way, there's snow coming. Uh, it started precipitating here in Verona, so I'm sorry to inform you of that fact. Uh, but anyways, thank you so much again. Uh, we will go ahead and shut down this webinar, and uh, we hope to hear from you very, very soon. Thanks so much. Thank you. Bye-bye, everybody.